Is everyone eligible for 7 plus 3 therapy? So no, not everybody gets 7 and 3. So this is where this division into patients who are fit for intensive chemotherapy versus the ones that are not fit for intensive chemotherapy. So those that are considered fit will get 7 and 3. And so someone who is older has poor performance status, meaning they really can't do a lot physically, and people have a lot of comorbidities. To be able to tolerate 7 and 3, you have to have a good cardiac function, decent lung function, you have to be able to go through this. So that's the determination. So those patients that are medically unfit will go into a different treatment category. Age is a factor, but it's not a sole factor for this. So someone who could be older, 75, even 80, and be in wonderful, great shape, and they could still potentially be a candidate for 7 and 3. Though usually someone is 80 years old, probably they're not going to get 7 and 3. But there's not a specific age cutoff for this. So the other treatment category is what's called less intense. And so there are a few treatment options for this category of patients. What is done mostly at current time is a combination of a drug called hypermethylating agent and something called venetoclox. Venetoclox is a new drug. It's only been available for a few years. It's one of the new drugs that was approved recently, and it made a huge difference in our ability to treat patients who are older and unfit for intensive chemotherapy. Because this combination of these two drugs works really well, and a lot of patients will go into remission. These therapies are usually initiated as inpatient, but can be continued as outpatient, and that's uh, a really nice part of this. The combination of the drugs is the hypermethylating agent. Is, there are two main drugs. One is called azacitidine, and one is called decitabine. They're given as either IV infusion or a subcutaneous injection, and so it's not, and in the infusion is just for one hour, so it can be easily done as outpatient. Venetoclox is a pill. It's an oral drug. And so the combination is often started in the hospital. If patients are tolerated well, um, they can leave the hospital and continue as outpatient. And this treatment cycle is repeated every 28 days. Um, so the hypermethylating agent is given either for five or seven days every month. Venetoclox is given continuously initially and then for two or three weeks out of the four. So then we have patients follow up as outpatient and get their supportive care, their transfusions uh, as outpatient and continue their treatment as outpatient, which is really nice for a lot of patients that they don't need to stay in the hospital for so long. So if seven and three is not an option, that's when we offer the uh, hypermethylating agent with venetoclox as an option. 